The sheer opportunity in Australia is incredible. Australia is one of our largest foreign markets um, and the size of the projects which one can build in Australia and the, the quality of the, the actual project execution is phenomenal. Um, and that has helped us sort of push ASIN to the next level in its other markets to build large projects. ASIN is a renewable energy company based out of the Philippines, part of the Ayala Group and we've operating renewable energy projects in the region, including in Australia. Australia is at a very interesting point in the renewable energy transition because there's clearly a strong government push to move away from coal towards renewables and the quality of the resource here is amazing. The wind, the solar irradiance and lastly the, the size of projects which one can build in Australia are phenomenal. The government has introduced a bunch of support schemes ranging from an Alteza to grants to things like the renewable energy zones, all of which enable a transition from conventional energy to renewables. The Pilbara is one of our newer expansion areas within the Australian market. It started about a year ago working in, in joint venture with the Yinjabandi people um, and developing wind and solar projects, maybe some batteries in this region. ASIN has a history of partnering with developers as well as with landowners to, wor to work together to develop projects. The Injibandi people took the, the step of creating a commercial platform that would actually invite industry to partner with them for the offtake of renewable energy, but also creating a commercial platform which um, made it viable for a group like ASIN to come and to partner with the Injibandi and develop projects alongside with them. Clean energy projects in Injibandi country are extremely important both to the, the regional economy, but also to the, to the Injibandi people and to ASIN as a project developer. We kind of cast a wide net to them in terms to look, let's, let's, let's see who's out there in the renewable industry, right? Uh, but they, 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 we had certain criteria as well. The thing that gets us interested about a particular company is, is the value that the company have. On a values basis, uh, ASIN had um, developed projects in Australia and elsewhere, and they'd partnered quite closely with traditional owners on the lands on which they were doing their projects. We can then capitalize on the opportunity and you know, also support the local economy. I think it's a win-win for everyone, really. The Injibandi people will benefit on, in, in a number of layers. So most importantly, the Injibandi people will always be a minimum of 25% of the equity ownership of the completed projects. This is not a development stage. This is the fully built and paid for projects. What makes these, this, our approach quite unique is that these are usually genuine 50-50 partnerships. A 50-50 partnership means you have to agree on everything, which on the one hand sounds difficult, but in reality means that you really extract the best out of both sides. My strong recommendation to anyone, whether it's an Australian group or an international group, who are coming to look to develop on, on traditional country is engage early and sincerely with tr the traditional owners. And by engagement, that means don't come with definite plans. Come with you know, your thoughts and ideas and make sure that the people you're engaging with are fully informed and they understand where they want, whether they want to be involved and if they do want to be involved, where they're happy for it to happen on country and then how can they actually be part of that long term so that the benefits of the project also flow through the community.